Hey everyone, Paul from Taxenic here. In this lesson of Python, we'll be learning about variables and data types. Variables are just reserved memory locations that are stored to values. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory. Variables are case sensitive, but can have unlimited length. This means when you call a variable, make sure it has the same case as when you defined it. Variables can have values of primitive data types. These consist of numbers, strings, lists, tuples, and dictionaries. All right, so now let's create our first variable. This variable is gonna have a stored value of a number. I'm going to name my variable age. I'm going to set it equal to my age, 20. We can also store strings variables. I'm going to create a variable called first name and set it to a string of my name. Paul. The next type of data are lists. To write a list, we use square brackets followed by comma-separated values. For instance, my values are going to be strings of vehicle types, like car, and they're going to be separated by a comma to represent a list. The second item in this list is bus, and the third, train. The next common data type is the dictionary. Dictionaries have a key and a value associated with them. For instance, if we want to store the value of a hospital patient, we can define a variable called hospital patient, set it equal to the dictionary, or in this case, curly brackets, I'm going to write the key name followed by the value, John. And these key value pairs are separated with a comma. So now I can give this dictionary more key and value pairs. For instance, I can give this hospital patient an age, 25, and the reason for their them being at the hospital is a broken arm. Finally, we can call our variables we can call variables by printing or referencing the variable name in a function, a print statement, or anywhere. So in this case, I'm going to write a print statement that references my age. So I'm going to write my age is space, comma, and now I'm going to call my age like so. Python knows what age is referring, referring to here. Since I defined a variable age on line 4, this print statement will take the age of the variable I defined. So when I run my code, we get my age is 20. Thank you for listening. See you guys in the next lesson.